Okay, so today we have a Nissan Juke setting uh, some CAN communication fault codes on the ECM U1000. And just scoping the network, you can see most of the time the signal looks okay. Let's stop this and we'll go back a couple screens. So like here, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. What I'm worried about is this one. This right here. That's the problem. I gotta find what module or whatever is causing this. Definitely looks like a module issue, but could be a uh, ground or power concern, but definitely something going on here and here. So let's figure Okay, so here we have the data network diagram. It's got all the modules that's on the CAN network. And this right here is our DLC. So we're basically scoping this red wire and this blue wire right here. So I want to just look at this diagram and see can I split this network up. And right here, there's a connector that if I unplug, basically takes away about half the modules that are possible on this network. It leaves me with the... Uh, okay, so this E105 connector is right here in the kick panel. So, pretty easy to get to. This one right here. So, I want to go back over to my scope. Let's get it rolling again. As you can see, we still got some some bad can data there. So I just want to unplug this and see what happens with my signal. All right, so I want to just unplug this and watch. Does my can clean up? So far, it's looking okay. Let's just kind of stop it and we'll go back through some pages here. Okay, with the connector unplugged, going through the waveforms, they're all pretty much where they, they should be. I haven't seen any that drops out. And of course, you'll see there's a lot less activity because there's a lot of modules missing. So. So next thing, we'll plug this back up. Get the scope rolling again, and you see we still have this one that's dipping every now and then. So now what we'll do is we'll go each module and unplug them one at a time and figure out which module's causing that. Okay, I've always said it, you, you can't always trust aftermarket wiring diagrams. This diagram is a redrawn of factory and it shows right through here this path and then right here the transmission control module is before this plug that we unplugged it is not this is tapped in after because when we unplugged that our issue went away meaning our issue was on this end of the circuit well i went through everything and I still had this one packet that keeps dropping every now and then. And I went back through everything. And here we go. Transmission control module right here. Unplug that. And we get a perfect waveform. This one's got a bad TCM. And the redrawn diagram led me astray. Okay, so now that we've determined our TCM is what's causing our dirty data signal, I just want to verify I got good powers and grounds and everything to the TCM, and that's not throwing me off. So on the diagram, we've got our powers coming in on P1, 
pin 45 and 46, ignitions coming in on 47 and 48, and grounds on 41 and 42. And then I just found the, uh, the pin out diagram. So 41 and 42 is together. There's a space of it, like that's empty. And then there are powers and ignitions up there. So you can see there's terminals here, but not in these two. So these two terminals is my grounds. These up here are gonna be powers and ignitions. So basically just gonna use a voltmeter with a uh, two amp test light bulb like back probed into it. So anytime these see power and ground, they will light up and I'll get a voltage display like this. So just touching our battery. So we got 12.6, light bulbs bright. So just gonna take my ground lead go into a ground terminal and the key is off so I'm only looking for battery power right now there we go 12.2 so that's that's pretty good 12.2 there now let's check the other ground other ground is good 12.2 same thing there so let me turn the key on we'll check the ignitions There we go, ignition 12 and 12. So, ignition, power, ground, all good. Next thing we'll do is just gonna verify the data lines from here to the DLC don't have any kind of resistance in them. Now, good power, good ground, good data to the TCM. The TCM just has a fault in it causing our dirty can signal.